The next one we have um, open pocket. So let's go to pocket. So we're going to go to pocket. Click on this and for this one, it says that remove the pocket feature along with its fillets in the center of the part. All the features must, must remain. So if you were just to suppress this part right here, so if I were to right click and suppress it, um, what actually happens is that all the other parts are actually connected to it. So all, everything would disappear. So we can't do that. So what we're gonna have to do is I'm going to have to create a new sketch on that surface and I'm going to project my geometry to the bottom surface. I'm going to hit finish sketch. So now you should be able to extrude. Okay, I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to extrude it to, I'm going to click this point right here. Okay, and that closes that hole and I'm going to hit okay. So it all, it's all should be gone. So now it says, what is the surface area of the flat face with the pocket? So I'm gonna go up to inspect, click measure. I'm gonna just highlight the top and then you can see what the era, area of that is. Okay, on this one, we have wanna open fillets and chamfer. So I'm gonna open up fillets and chamfer. Okay. As you can see, um, the edges have been filleted so we're going to follow directions for the rest. It says add a 0 0.08 inch chamfer to the inner hole and where the cylinder meets. So I'm going to go up to chamfer, which is right here. And I'm going to create a chamfer from the inner and the outer. Okay. And it's going to be 0 0.08. So I'm going to change this is to 0 0.08. I'm going to hit OK. Next one is add a 0.1 fillet to the top outer edge of the cylinder. So I'm going to go to fillet and on the top outer edge is going to be 0.1. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. The last is add a 0 0.05 fillet to the top edge of the base. So I'm going to go fillet again on the edge of the base and this is going to be 0.05. I'm going to hit apply. Okay. And then now it says, what's the total surface area of the part? You can right click on eye properties, physicals, update, and you should have the answer under area. All right. So now what we have is number five. So number five says open the spindle. So I'm going to go over to spindle. Where's spindle? On the bottom, double click on it, and it should open it up to inventor. It says that I need to uh, revolve the part based on the sketch provided. So I'm going to go to revolve. I'm going to click on the shape and I'm going to click on the axis. The axis I'm going to click on it is actually up here, the construction line, and it should revolve it. I'm going to hit OK. It says, what is the total surface area? Right click, click eye properties, physical, you can update it and so on. All right, so in number six, we have opened the connector plate. So I'm gonna to go to my file. I'm gonna open up the connector plate right here. Okay, and then the connector plate, what I'm going to do is I need to mirror the, use the mirror command to create the other half of the part, change the material to silver. What is the end-to-end -end distance of the part? So I wanna mirror all of this. So I'm gonna go up to mirror function up here. And I'm going to click all the features. So I'm going to need to mirror this extrusion, this extrusion, this one, this one, and the whole. So one, two, three, four, five features are highlighted. The mirror plane that I'm going to select will be the part where the two um, features are going to meet. So it's going to be this U shape. I'm going to click on that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit OK. Then I need to assign, um, I need to assign material. So I'm going to go up to materials and I'm going to assign it to um, silver, I believe is what they wanted. Silver. Okay. And hit OK. Let's see if it works now. Yeah, hang on. Maybe go down and find silver. Or silver. There it is. And then. Okay. Silver. 
Why does it not? Okay, click silver. Okay, I'm gonna say apply. Paste. Okay, so all I did was um, I just open up the material, click silver, and then it works. So this is silver, and then now it asks for the um, the end to end distance. So from this end to this end. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to inspect measure and I'm just going to highlight this edge and then the end-to-end -end distance should be stated right here. And that's it, one through six.